Hey guys, today I just want to talk about the way to sketch the graph for the logarithmic functions. So let's start it off with the decimal. So I'm going to show you two different graphing utility. One is the decimal, the other one is the TI-84. So in the decimal, so you start it off with y equals. In order to find out that the template for the log base, so we go to the little icon here, the keyboard icon, and then you want to go to function and then you hit miscellaneous and then you see that log base A so we want to type in log base of one fifth which is 0.2 and then the quantity of x plus 5 so for that negative 5 right here as you can see that this one would be the vertical asymptote. So anytime that you set that the quantity equal to zero and try to solve for x, that value of x would be the vertical asymptote. So if you set x plus five equals zero, so x is negative five. And then to get the point, x, y intercept. So we got negative four comma zero, zero comma negative one. And there's no value of k right here because that there's no vertical translation. So that's one way for doing it on the graphing utility. And here's the way to do that on the TI-84. So now for the TI-84, there's no such function like log base with the subscript number. So what you have to do, you want to use the change of base formula. So again, I'm going to type in the exact same functions. So we got log of x plus 5. And then divided by log of 1 fifth, a log of 0.2. And then you want to go to zoom, then standard. So this one just give you the window from negative 10 to 10 on the x-axis. And for the y-axis, it's also giving you that negative 10 to 10. And for those you might be wondering, you cannot see the tail, the one that going along with the vertical asymptotes. So here's another thing that you can do. So you can do this one with all kind of functions with the graph. So you can go to zoom, and then you want to go down to 0. So it's called zoom fit. So basically this function is giving you that the whole perspective of the whole graph. So as you can see that the vertical asymptote is right along the x equals negative 5 and then it's going all the way. So the log function is declining. Again, xy intercept, you can use that second trace to find the xy intercept. And thank you for watching the video today.